It's what you're doing. It's making me feel like I'm falling. Ugh, my tongue is so dry. I think I need water. Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are doing something that goes back to my roots. Not these roots. My roots on YouTube. When I first started posting videos on YouTube, I actually started by posting Dollar Tree DIYs. Hello? Mom, we're going to the Dollar Tree. Then we're gonna go to the Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree. Basically what this entails is what it sounds like. You go to the dollar store and you create a DIY with things there. I have a series on my channel called DIY Gift Ideas, and that would also fit really well with this idea. There is also a series that Mariah Elizabeth does called the Dollar Store Makeup overs. So I'm struggling on what category to put this video in. This was a very long way of me saying I'm gonna go to the Dollar Tree and make some stuff with the things in there. This video is also a collab with Visual Mind, and today we are obviously doing a collab on DIYs. Let's get started on today's video. Did I mention this was going to be a Christmas themed DIY? No? Oh, well, it's gonna be Christmas themed. My sister and I went to the Dollar Tree and bought pretty much everything. And we're waving hello, hi. Up first, I purchased this dollhouse from the toy section of the Dollar Tree. It has several objects and a house. Let's open this bad boy up. I don't know why every time I open a package, it ends up being opened like this. Getting rid of these, because they're useless to me. I'm more interested in the dollhouse. The first step in this makeover process is to remove all of the windows. Everything must go, except for the door. The door would not snap out. I tried. We're gonna keep that in. I'm sanding the house down to make sure paint adheres, and I'm taking out my paints. I'm using a brown color first. And then I'm also taking out a red color. The red color is at, oh gosh, right in my freshly squeezed paint. I don't like that at all, not one bit. I mix together some red and brown to create a gingerbread looking color. Why does that look like chocolate? I'm not gonna eat it, I'm not gonna eat it, I'm not going to eat it. I'm giving this whole house a nice base coat of brown. But not just any brown, the brown of a gingerbread man. The really cool part about this dollhouse and all the dollhouses at the Dollar Tree is that they are snappable. Snappable? What the heck does that mean? Oh good, I'm glad you asked. Snappable means that all of the pieces snap together. So there are all different dollhouses at the Dollar Tree with all different shapes and sizes, and you can snap them together to create one large dollhouse mansion. And while I'm not particularly excited about creating a dollhouse mansion, I am excited at the idea of creating a Christmas village. Once I had finished painting all of the windows, I snapped them back into their positions and I took out my decoupage. Decoupage can act exactly like Mod Podge. It just gives your paint a good protective coating. You'll notice I added a ton of decoupage, probably more than I needed. That is because I really wanted to seal the windows and doors in. I also knew that I was taking out my puffy paint and was going to be covering over a lot of that extra decoupage anyway, so I thought it was better to just make sure everything was really sealed tightly together. I started off by using my white puffy paint for the icing on the roof. I guess this is not actually icing, but the idea I was going for was to really make this piece look like it was a gingerbread house that's made out of food. When it comes to decorating gingerbread houses with food, things are never perfect. Icing is the type of thing that never comes out in quite a straight line or exactly the way you want it to, unless you're like a professional baker, which I'm 
Definitely not. I burnt her to a crisp. So what I'm saying is, when it came to using this puffy paint on the gingerbread house, I tried to embrace the natural imperfections that occur when one is creating a gingerbread house. Typically, the walls are falling apart, you've got icing everywhere, things are usually a little bit messy, and that is totally okay and part of the process. To finish up this gingerbread house, I added some some red and green details. On the roof, I'm imagining those are red and green Christmas lights. Around the door, we've got a wreath and some greenery. On the bottom, we have some candy canes. Something I'm really excited about for this project is that I can go back to the Dollar Tree, I can buy more houses, and I can create my own Christmas village of gingerbread houses. Once the house has been all prepped with the gingerbread color, it's really easy to add the details, and I think it would be so fun to make more gingerbread houses with my mom and my sister. Up next, we're following along with the gingerbread-themed DIYs I've got going on here. I found some wooden chips from the Dollar Tree that are in the shape of gingerbread men, and I thought these would be so fun to quickly paint and decorate with puffy paint. I really love this DIY because it's so simple. It's just something that's really fun to do. It's easy to do in groups. You can just like easily paint the wood chips ahead of time. In the craft section of the Dollar Tree, they have little tiny tubes of puffy paint. They call it 3D paint there. And you can use those to decorate these wooden chips. This couple I'm creating here is my favorite couple of gingerbread men. I created a blue striped sweater with some ridges in it and a bow, and then I gave the male a bow tie with some extra white decorations around him. I really like his eyes. I made some gingerbread men with some earmuffs on. I gave them some very nervous looking eyebrows, which I always enjoy. And then I took out my magnetic tape. Now, you could have done a lot of things with these wooden chips. You could make them into magnets, you could make them into pins, you could have even made them into Christmas tree ornaments. But I decided to make them into magnets to put on the side of my fridge. What I love about this DIY is that it's just fun across the board for everyone. You could give this to a kid, you could give this to an adult. It's fun to do, it's simple, and it's joyous. Up next, we've got another simple DIY involving cookie cutter. Oh, I'm, I'm dropping this. Cookie cutters from the Dollar Tree. There are six cookie cutters that come in this. And I have to say, the shapes are really cute. I'm putting these on my cookie tray with some parchment paper below it. And then I'm actually taking out my candles. I have a set of six candles and I'm putting them into my toaster oven and letting them melt. Ignore the crumbs. After they've melted, I'm utilizing the tiny wick that is inside each of these little candles. For some reason, they were magnetic. Unclear what that's about. I'm also using a pot of boiling water to melt down larger candles from the Dollar Tree. And now we're gonna put it all together. So I'm using my melted down candle wax, the wick, and the cookie cutter to create candles that are in the shape of Christmas cookies. I thought this was such a fun idea. I saw it online multiple times and I really wanted to try it because I thought it looked really simple. And I have to say, it was so easy to do. You'll notice that before I put the cookie cutter down, I did put a layer of candle wax on the paper. Doing this will help make sure your candle doesn't break apart when you go to take it out of the cookie cutter. Notice on the gingerbread man and on the candy cane, I tried layering two colors of candles. It didn't turn out as good as I thought it would. I also added some sparkles on top of certain candles just because I thought it looked pretty. Once the candles had hardened, you kind of just snap off the extra candles and slip it out of the cookie cutter. It slips out really easily. The extra pieces of candle break off really cleanly and I really didn't have any issues with this. Now, I would like to say as far as practicality goes, I don't think we should actually be lighting these candles on fire. They're more for decorative purposes because if you actually lit them, they would just melt into a puddle of candle wax. But it is fun to display these maybe on a counter or in some kind of Christmas display. Up next, we have a DIY involving a wine glass. This is actually going to turn into a... Wait, 
We're picking off a sticker that won't come off. I had to take out some rubbing alcohol to remove the remaining sticker residue. Ew. To start off this snow globe candle holder, I outlined the bottom of the wine glass and cut it out to a perfect circle, or as perfect as I could get it. I'm also taking out some of these figurines. I took a lamppost, a bench, and a wintry man throwing a snowball. Once those figurines had been hot glued, I checked that it fit inside the snow globe. It did. And then I took out my snow. This is actually just glitter that I got from the Dollar Tree, but this glitter is not normal glitter. It's very flat and flaky and really looks like snow. I flipped the wine glass over a bunch of times to make sure I had the right amount of snow. Little man looks like he's in a blizzard. Let's take some of that snow out. Okay, this looks a little better. Once I had a normal amount of snow in my snow globe, I hot glued the oak tag to the rim of the wine glass. When you do this step, do not underestimate the amount of hot glue you need. You need a lot of hot glue to make sure those sparkles are not gonna come out when you shake the snow globe. I'm taking out some ribbon that I bought at the Dollar Tree and I'm tying a bow around the stem of the wine glass. So the top part of this wine glass, or at least, or the bottom part, I guess, when we flip it over, is actually gonna have a candle on top. And this is what the final candle holder snow globe ended up looking like. So this idea was actually my mom's idea. She found it on Pinterest and we did it as a group with my sister. My sister Alina and my mom made the other two. After finishing our DIYs, we decided to show each other what we had made. You could create like a whole village. I never would have thought to paint these. Oh, okay. I love the one with the blue bow. Yeah, that one's my favorite. Well, it actually works. This is the first item that I did. Oh, that's so cute. The rest of my reaction will be in Visual Minds video and it's linked below. And here is what all of the DIYs look like together. I added the gingerbread men on top of the gingerbread house just so you can see them next to each other. I somehow forgot to include the cookie cutter candles on the mantle. Ignore that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to check out Mel's part in the collab and I'll see you guys next week. Bye. Hey.